What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go, folks. It's paper towels. <laughs> Does anyone remember that video? It's a YouTube throwback. Some guy with a horrendous, gotta be some type of Boston accent, just going in about paper towels. It's pretty funny. Uh, last workout of the week. Here we go. I'm doing Saturday, but it's on a Friday. Friday workout, small off junior front squat. 10 by 3. The weight for today was 225 pounds. I couldn't wait for this workout to be over. I didn't even want to start the workout. I did everything in my power to roll around in my house and foam roll for way too long of a time to avoid doing this workout at all. And I don't really know why. Uh, but it seems like the small off junior front squat is destroying me mentally, emotionally, uh, somewhat physically, but not really. Just mentally and emotionally, maybe. I have no motivation to do anything, uh, and I have workout mental fatigue, and it is solely due to the front squat, guaranteed. Uh, I'm starving every night. I'm going to bed ravenous. Every morning I'm waking up ravenous. So, uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess I've never really noticed how taxing front squats are, but apparently they are. Again, the small off junior is 31 sets of front squats a week. I know these weights aren't heavy. I know they're not, but they are, uh, adding up and destroying my soul. Uh, I, I don't feel sore legs aren't sore upper back that soreness kind of went away too although i was feeling it today towards like the seventh and eighth round uh yeah it started probably around the seventh or eighth round of the front squats today i did start to feel my upper back getting worked and get, getting a little bit sore um but the squats themselves they're, they're not difficult my body just doesn't want to do them i don't want to get in there and, and get them done but uh, we persevered today, hit the 10, 10 sets of three, 225, uh, started off, as you guys just saw, started off with just some overhead press on uh, the fourth workout of the week. Overhead press is six sets of three. I worked up to 155. Uh, I want to go heavier. I kept hitting sets of four instead of sets of three. Um I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe not next. Maybe not next week. But maybe in the next uh, three week cycle here, uh, I do a couple days of of two two rep two repetitions for the overhead press. I want to get back up into the one seventy fives, one eighty fives, and 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 move that a little bit. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out how to work that in. No chest today. No flies. Uh, just did some pull apart, some jump ropes. And got into the front squats. I'm not going to lie. This took forever. This took so long due to my body and my brain not wanting to do this at all that my, my camera battery died. Um, so you don't even see the end of the workout. I finished this workout with uh, the standard fourth day of the week, tricep press downs and ab work. But the battery died on the camera, meaning I was out there for, <laughs> I think I was out there for over two hours, just uh, wasting time in between sets, trying not to get, get to, uh, to get to work, trying not to, to finish this, which isn't good. It's only week one. The weights only go up from here. Uh, oh, man. I don't know. Uh, again, this morning, I think it was 90, 92, three degrees by the time I finished this workout. Shoulders were getting sweaty. The bar was starting to slip. Uh, my front rack feels okay, you know. It looks all right. I had to stop front squatting facing the camera because backing into the rack was getting a little, uh, getting a little sketchy. So I only wanted to back. In, I only wanted to uh, to walk into the rack. I didn't want to back into the rack. Uh, from the front angle, I think I did a couple sets early on. From the front angle, my legs are wobbling all over the place, which is a hip stability issue, meaning the glutes aren't firing as much as they should be. <sighs> Something I need to work on. I'm well aware. Also, 
if you can see my toes, I worked so hard during the back squat to, uh, to keep my toes forward and really work on that torque. I know I've mentioned this in past videos, but, but during the squat, uh, a big factor, and again, this goes back to, to studying the, the, the ways and the, the wisdom of Kelly Sturette on YouTube. Um, he talks a lot about torque and how our bodies are designed to generate a ton of force through torque. And if you, if you allow your feet to flare out or, for instance, if you allow your hands to flare out during push-ups, same thing, you allow your feet to flare out during squats, you lose the ability uh, to maximize that torque uh, potential. And my feet are flaring way, uh, way out to the sides on all these squats. Even as I go deeper, they flare out more. I'm losing that torque, um, which sucks. You know, I'm just losing strength in the, in the, in the movement. And the legs are shaking all over the place. I'm unstable. I feel my back, my upper back, wanting to cave. I'm glad I have these crash pads. On the last set today, the set of 10, I think it's this set right here, I was uh, right here. I'm like, well, good thing I have these crash pads because I think I'm going to drop this, but I didn't. Um, but it took some some mental acrobatics to not drop that. I, my body was giving out. My brain was giving out. <laughs> if you see my mannerisms here, I am done, done. Uh Sorry, tree. I just kicked my wrist strap into a tree. But uh, yeah, week one, people. And as predicted after day one of week one, this is day four, week one, I got beat up. I, uh, As good as I felt last week with back squats is as bad as I feel this week with front squats. Going to San Diego, hitting the beach this weekend. Be back at it next week. See you guys later.